Hi, Secrets readers. It's Carlo LaRosso from Secrets of Home Theater and High Fidelity. And today, what we have for you is we are visiting with the fine folks of Perlison Audio, Dirac, and Storm Audio at CES 2023. And we have been blessed with the presence of <laughs> um, Eric Wiederholtz from Perlison Audio, Nilo Erickson from Dirac, and I hope I get this right. Matt Trinkline? Perfect. Um, Matt Trinkline from Storm Audio. Thank you. All right. <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to, to spend with us. And um, how's everything been going at, <laughs> at CES? Uh, apparently, you guys have uh, have been stirring up quite a uh, storm. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so what's been happening i, uh, I know Dirac's made uh, the the huge announcement with uh active room treatment and uh and uh i know storm has uh uh an exclusive with them and uh eric you, you know you guys from perlis and audio are there together to uh to support and uh and show off the capabilities as best as possible so tell me about it uh, go first yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah it's been a great show so far we have one day left to go mm -hmm. uh we've been having demos every hour on the hour um uh, wow. and uh, yeah very well attained um and um, at some occasions we even had applause and, and cheers and that's really really encouraging applause and cheers that's neat yeah <laughs> I guess what I'm I'm curious I'm curious about is having not not being able to be in the demo. Um what is would with with Dirac uh, active room treatment, what's the the most noticeable difference you guys that you guys can tell from actually being in the demo? I mean that I guess that's what I'm curious about. Well, uh we're in a very large suite here in the Venetian mm -hmm. um with tons of different physical geometries around us so it's a very less than ideal acoustic space mm -hmm. um and you know with the finite control aspects of Dirac's ART technology um I'd say the biggest impact is taking out all of the reverberation and rigging from the low frequency in the room that we would never be able to do otherwise oh okay so uh, it, Sorry, go yeah, ahead. It, it, it's a level of control that uh, for some people, because, you know, we're so used to, you know, what you get from a room, whether you have some room treatment, none at all, uh, unless you have a, you know, very, very nicely done acoustically designed space. We're so used to that reverberation that I think for a lot of people, uh, it was almost disconcerting uh, initially to have the level of control because you're just not used to it. Um, wow. And then, you know, once you become aware of what's actually happening within the room, it's uh really really difficult to to go back so really? one of the things that we've been doing is is going between the art calibrated profile and a non-calibrated profile where we just have level and delay match um and it's identical to what we have in the art file we took the same coefficients and put them in mm -hmm. uh, and it's night and day really it's that that huge difference yeah i'd have to agree that's really what the, the <clears throat> real benefit of the demo is is it's so demonstrative about how different it is um, you know, and a lot of times you have recalibrations and you do a setup and mm -hmm. you sit down and listen to it and you're like, yeah, it's, it's different. I, you know, I think it's better. This is night and day. This really? is one of those things that anyone, you know, your four-year-old can come around and you can talk, talk to them about it. And they're like, oh yeah, there's bass everywhere. It's, I mean, it's that easy to, to understand and, and, uh, perceive, um, and uh, improves sound quality tremendously, bass impact, uh, as well as uh, impression and high frequencies. Uh, mm. so it's hot. Uh, it is really a, a wonder of how much that uh, decay time uh, mm -hmm. that is affected at low frequencies, how much that also affects high frequencies. I think that was the biggest surprise for me of how much of a change that is. Wow. And uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's definitely a, a, a very noticeable difference is it is it uh easier to to um to tell like 
you know, for we say when you're when you have say like an Atmos track or something or something else going that has like discrete, you know, things moving up and down and around. Is it much easier to track these things? Is it much easier to tell to tell like those those motions happening and and, and stuff like that? Um, <laughs> Yeah, so we've had uh, also some multi-channel tracks playing, uh, mm -hmm. so not only stereo. Mm -hmm. And uh, what it does also in the higher frequencies is to have this continuousness of of the sound uh, sound stage. Mm. So, so you really get this, you know, tracking of the, of the of the objects. No, yeah. no. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say. I was just going to say. Image clarity, you know, three hundred sixty degrees around is is much more refined. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. uh, now, how? What kind of a system are you guys running in there? Is it a? It's a full-on surround system. I'm. Um. I'm. I'm guessing. Yeah. So um, we're running the uh, S7Ts, the S7C, mm -hmm. S4Bs, and surrounds. We got three D15S subs and two three. Cores, one in the middle and the back. Oh wow! Um, and so you know the technology is not based just to uh, you know multiple speakers. You could do it two channel, two point one mm -hmm. uh, surround speakers. But the more speakers that you have, the more support that you have to mm -hmm. create signals from more positions to help uh, that kill those modes throughout the room. Um, oh, wow. So you know it's not limited to you must have multiple speakers. Uh, and obviously that technology, as long as you cover the bandwidth needed. Mm -hmm. um, you have to reproduce that uh, frequency in order to be able to re reproduce a signal to to cancel it. Um, so the wider the bandwidth, the more ability to do a better job. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, even though we've got amazing speakers here, it doesn't take just great loudspeakers to do that, right? You can, but it's nice to have them. <laughs> it's nice to have them, absolutely. But it's a technology that really applies. It's You're fixing an acoustic problem. So if you have right. the ability to reproduce that signal, you, you can cancel it. So I think that's what's really great about it. So have you guys been have you guys been doing like stereo samples along with multi-channel samp uh uh demonstrations as well? And and the 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 difference is just as noticeable from stereo to multi-channel. Yes, yes. And uh interesting thing is that we apply the same profile for both stereo and, and multi-channel. So there's no need to to switch back and forth uh wow. depending on the on the source. Because oh, so you, don't, you don't need a different profile for stereo or multi-channel. It it It'll, it'll, the one, the, the one will take care of them both. Yeah. Oh, it's wow. Crazy. That's very cool. Actually, oh, that's, this is exciting. <laughs> this is, I wish I was there. I wish I, <laughs> this is like, this is awesome. Um, so, uh, uh, Matt, are, I understand that you guys will have the exclusive for this, I think, until, um, later this year. Is that correct? Yep. Uh, Drac ART will be exclusive for Storm Audio until October 1st of this year. Okay, and uh, is the do um, current Storm Audio users need to uh, are should they be expecting a firmware upgrade coming soon, or is it already available? Or it's not available yet. Uh, ART will launch on our platform in Q2 of this year, um, mm -hmm. and for any units that are sold from January 1st of this year onwards, uh, ART will be automatically included with the firmware update. Okay. Uh, any of our legacy products that were sold before, uh, it'll be a $299 license fee to Dirac that will activate it on the unit with a firmware package. Oh, okay. So, so previous owners, they just need to pay, uh, it's available to them, just need to pay the, up, the, the license fee and, and grab a firmware upgrade then. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's, that's, I wish I was a Storm Audio owner. That sounds great. Um, did not, not what's, it, what's that? It's not too late. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. It's not, I need to talk to my wife about that. We'll see. <laughs> um, but um, did, now, does, does Storm Audio have uh, any other, um, were, were you guys introducing any new hardware at all at the show or uh, it was just it was just strictly the uh, the support of Dirac? Just strictly uh, the support of Dirac. Uh, we do also have, uh, we're supporting one other demo um, for Oro 3D decoding, mm -hmm. um, but that's it. We're just here for our supporting partners. Um, we have some, you know, new fun things coming down the pipeline that, you know, you could see at uh, ISC and Insidia that we'll be launching, but that's oh, great. It. Excellent. Excellent. And, and Eric, you guys, obviously we're here, we're here for support. You were, you were saying, and anything new and exciting happening for you with you guys? I know you guys had just released the, uh, your, your in walls that you guys have been working on quite a bit and, uh, and you know, the, they looked fantastic. Um, anything, 
interesting you can tell us about coming down the pike or not quite yet? Or? Yeah, there's, there's a few things coming down the pike. Some of them I can't talk about yet, but we'll be in support of home theater, uh, mm -hmm. custom install type of products. As you know, we just released our in walls. Um, and, uh, you know, same great frequency response off access power response as all of the rest of our in room speakers. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that really has been translated into the in walls. Uh, it's brought a lot of excitement. Um, everything that's really came in is gone. So first shipment was absolutely gone. Everybody Dynamite. shipped it to worldwide. So that's good. The acceptance is there. The, the recognition of, of that you shouldn't sacrifice in wall speakers for, uh, just because they're in walls. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and in fact, that's, you know, even a greater application of, of, uh, the output needed. And in the, in this case of having the ability to, to cancel those, uh, modes in the room, more dynamic range is, is a benefit to have the ability to do more in a room. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course more channels would offer an advantage as well. Um, but, uh, you don't necessarily need that. That's the great thing, uh, to, to have the abilities, uh, to cancel room modes, but uh, more is always better mm -hmm. um, from that perspective of having more options to improve a room. I think it was really cool too, is even when you go in the back corner where you would expect a standing wave to be really over amplified and lots of decay time and stuff like that. When you walk around the room, that's, that's all gone. Even when it's outside the calibration area was, was very impressive. And uh, so it's great. Uh, obviously, if you have a great source, it makes it a little bit easier down the chain to make sure everything's mm -hmm. great uh, following that. Uh, but it's it's a really cool technology. Fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I mean, it's it's and I understand that there are some some awards that have been received. Um, do you guys want to want to mention those at all or or, uh, or, you know, a little a little hype about them? Let's go yeah, right ahead if you like. Sure. I think uh, I'll grab this one if you want to grab that one. Yeah. So we got uh, Sound and Vision uh, mm -hmm. editors uh, pick for CES 2023, and we got the ABS uh, Forum Best of CES 2023. Very nice. And I'm trying to find a picture of residential. <laughs> yeah, here it is. And I have a copy of it right here on this phone. <laughs> okay. Hey, there we go. <laughs> nice. Residential, residential residential systems uh 2023 uh CES Picks Award. Oh my gosh, look at there that. You. Dynamite. Well, it, it, it obviously you guys you guys uh put together a heck of a, a demonstration cuz cuz it looks like it, it's impressed it, and uh and that's that's fantastic. Guys planning on partnering again for another show? <laughs> down the road perhaps or you you never know there's always that possibility oh, so wow. uh, it's great to work with partners uh together such as is great partners such as storm and iraq and be included so uh, i think it's absolutely positive uh positive yeah. relationship yeah fantastic Fantastic. Um, the, the, this, the guys, this, this is great. Um, i know it's it has got to be the end of the day and you guys are probably all uh <laughs> You've had the candle burnt at both ends, I bet, because it's probably it's it's been pretty crazy. I'm sure. We're all still riding the uh, the wave of excitement. I I think. So, yeah. Uh, we won't notice until we're back home. Yeah. <laughs> and, and coffee. And yeah, and <laughs> yes. coffee. Yes. And lots, lots of coffee. coffee. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, well, um, hopefully uh, we could get a chance at some point to uh, to you know try this out for ourselves if we can review a storm processor down the road with uh, with. Uh, Dirac art enabled in it that should be pretty cool and uh you know maybe we can have some pearls and speakers around to uh, to get the full uh, to get the full benefit of it too why not um that's for sure that's awesome um well guys uh i mean this has been absolutely fabulous nope thank you for your time we appreciate it thank uh, you for having us yeah no, thank you very much no problem thanks so much guys really appreciate it and please have a great rest of your show and um Grab something to eat and drink tonight. You guys probably could use it. <laughs> yeah, done. <laughs> you got it. Thanks so much, guys, for everything. I appreciate it. Take care. Yep. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.